Hey guys, it's Syndicate here, and welcome your faces back to a Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Theory video. Now, I'm going to sound like a crap part, it's probably not going to be true, but you guys better hear me out. You remember in Treyarch's Call of Duty Zombies, you had PhD Flopper, when you did that Dolphin Dive Belly Flop, you exploded some sexual awesomeness. Oh, you know, you just did damage to the zombies, that kind of thing. Well, that happened with a perk. Now, these micro DLCs have been released, you've got the Magma, exosuit, you've got the nano exosuit and you've got the lightning. You also have Crocodile Dundee over here as well as the steampunk one but I don't want to focus on them for now. I want to focus on these three. Now if I'm going to say anything this one could probably, you know, because it's like a, a, a skin sort of thing, it could make you have like Juggernaug, like a thickened ability of sorts but, you know, extra health. But let's not talk about that. Let's talk about these three for now. Magma. Imagine doing the ground slam ability when you're playing in advanced warfare. You jump up, hit the ground, just like how in Treyarch's version of their ability of being able to belly flop slash dolphin dive, you ground slam, and when you ground slam, you let off a fire slash elemental ground burning sensation that affects the zombies by doing damage to them and setting them on fire. Go over to the nano suit one. If you do the nano one, I'll show you the actual names. If we go over to the nano tech suit, Imagine being able to buy this as an upgrade when you hit the ground, it actually disables the nano suits of the zombies. So when these zombies are running at you dead fast with their nano suits and jumping at you dead fast because they're nano suits, you want to disable them for a minute to get away. You use your nanotech ability by hitting the ground and it disables their suits. Doesn't kill them, doesn't stun them, it just disables their suits so they run slower. That's my thought. We then move on to the lightning one, and this works like a stun grenade. You ground slam the ground with this. It hits the zombies and it stuns them. They can't they can't run after you for a few seconds, they're like immobilized, they're like, oh no, I'm stuck, why not why can't I run? No oh no, his powers are amazing. And you can get away for a second. Imagine these three things right here being this awesome ability, like right in front of us, to say, Hey, this is what we are, but you don't know it yet. And the reason why I've made a video on this is to tell you this, but when a, uh, a resource like this is made in a game, they usually don't just have a feature of Oh, we'll put it in so it looks good. It's usually because they've already got it for something. Now hold my hands up in the air and say, okay, the flags for, you know, um, the rest of them. Can I find them? Here you go, like United States, Australia, all these ones. Yeah, they look really cool. They do look cool. But they put that in then to appeal to the audiences, you know, so people represent. Because they know people are going to buy that and represent, you know, their, their country sort of thing. But if we go back to these ones, why would people buy them? Yeah, because they look cool. Yeah, because they're good. But... If you go back to Treyarch's um, skins that they released, most of the skins they released were already in the game. You know, like whether it was the uh, the pack of punch from whichever DLC it was, they were just put in there to be available for you to use because they already had the resource of it. It was already made because it was already in Zombies. So they thought, why not release it as a DLC and put it in this? So that is my exact thought with this. What if we're, right now? We're looking at one stuns their suits and makes their abilities like kind of disappear for a small amount of time or disables them. It could be a full nanotech sort of um, attack, which I don't think it will be. I think it will just be a nanotech, uh, a nanotech like disability for them when you ground slam it, like lets off an aura of effect around you and uh, disables them. And then the lightning one could be a stun. Now, with all this said, guys, this is all a theory, and it would be absolutely amazing if I would have just ground slammed then whilst jumping into a crowd of zombies and setting off a lavery magma effect. As you can see, I've got the magma suit on. But imagine if I did that again, and I slammed down with my nano suit and hit zombies that were wearing the suits, so it stops them from chasing after me and be able to, you know, like, jump up on the buildings and sprint at me full in speed. They basically have to use, like, the floor to run around on and get from A to B to me, rather than using their suits to be able to jump up on the buildings or anything like that. And again, if I'm using the stun ability, you know, using the la lightning suit, I could just like ground slam near them, bang, slow them down by going swoosh, stopping them, and then I can run away, and for a full like five seconds, they're disabled and can't chase after me. Now, you might be like, well, wouldn't the lightning and nano suit thing be the same? I'd say no, because the lightning would disable them, but it wouldn't break their suits. The nanotech, however, would disable their suits and stop them from being able to, you know, like jump, fly around and chase after me. But the stun would just stun them for five seconds and let me run away. It might be considered too OP, and I know this is just a theory, it's possibly not what's going to happen. But I'd rather say it now and call it out and what I think it's going to be, rather than it coming out and being like, damn it, I said it, it was going to happen, I knew it. Uh, you know, that sort of thing. It's what I used to do for Call of Duty Zombies. Um, on Treyarch side of things and uh, I'd love to see if this could possibly be a thing and uh, even if it's not a thing now 
they might actually consider it and be like, you know what, we could incorporate this and it gives us a way to add elemental aspects to our suits for the players. So guys, this is nothing but a theory. I hope you enjoyed what I was saying here. If you do think it's a good idea, then please be sure to leave a like rating. Uh, if you guys have got any other theories and opinions as to what like the magma suit could actually do, the uh, you know the nanotech suit could actually do, and also the lightning could do, then please leave your comments. There is also the two other suits, which is you know the animal, which is the uh, it's like a crocodile skin, and the uh, steampunk suits. If you guys want to leave comments, suggestions as what they could do, then by all means go ahead. I did say that the um, What's it called? The crocodile suit. That one, the animal, could add more health to you. You know, it can make you a bit thicker and stronger because it's like animal skin, like uh, crocodile skin, is tough. Maybe that is their way of adding like juggernaut into the game. It's a little weird way of looking at it, but that's the ability. And as to what Steampunk would do, I don't have a motherfucking clue. But guys, leave a like rating if you like the idea. If you do, uh, let me know. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys hopefully soon with some DLC action. For Call of Duty Zombies. If not, maybe some more theories and stuff like that of what I've got to think about it. Until then, I love you guys' faces and adios.